If you guys didn't know, at Minecon Live 2019, they announced a Nether update. And it has tons. There's got new biomes like the uh what are they? well there's the no it's like, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's the Soul Sand Valley, Nether Warp Forest, and even a blue Nether Warp Forest. Oh and you can't forget about the mobs. So I'm going to be showing you all of these things as like sneak peek gameplay footage in this video. So you can kind of see what how they'll probably work and maybe what they'll look like in game. If you didn't see the Minecon Earth, wait, Minecon Live, it changed its name. Um, anyway, I don't remember. I guess those mixed up. But uh, the if you haven't seen it, well, don't worry because I'm just basically showing you everything they announced. Actually, I think everything. Yeah, they announced <laughs> in this video. So, um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to be running through all of the new, uh, things added in, or that will be added, and I just kind of, I had, like, a sneak peek gameplay of them, because I made some of these things myself, so you can kind of see how they're going to work in-game, and, um, yeah, and how everything's going to look, and, um, get more footage than the ones shown at Minecon Live. So let us begin with the biomes. So the first one is the, uh, what's it called? Soul Sand Valley. So this biome is going to have blue flames. Well, they're normal fire, but when you place them on soul sand, they're gonna be blue. Um, and these stalagmites and stalactites are like connected. They look really cool. And they always have bone structures. Or what do you like? I don't know. What, what do you call? And it, it means basically bone structures. Yeah. So um, we this biome doesn't have too much. Like this is basically all that there is. It's the well, there is one more thing which I'll get to in a second. But there's the bone. The uh, what? I think there's a name. What? <laughs> a bone sculpture thing is. It's like. Oh, I can't remember. I they're like they have a name like the. the uh, whatever. Um, and then the, uh, stalagmites, stalactites. We don't actually know the block for these, but, um, this is basically what it looks like. So, yeah, and it's obviously filled with soul sand, it's in the name Soul Sand Valley. And I don't really know, like, what the blue flames don't really make sense, but I don't know. And, uh, the one really cool thing about this is the blue fog. So, when you're in the Soul Sand Valley... The fog is going to be blue. Normally in the nether, it's red all the time. But now, when you get to this biome, it's all blue. Look at this. It's almost like the overworld with the nice skies. So, yeah, this is a real cool biome. I'm looking forward to seeing anything else it may have. And, obviously, you know, some of the bone structures might have broken elements to them. I don't know. But, yeah, so this is a really cool one. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So you can see how, like, the... It's kind of weird. Like, they come in thin, and then they end slowly getting thicker. I don't know. It's kind of weird how they work and everything. But it is really cool. So I'm really looking forward to see how this one... Like, what what can we do in this biome? And, like, are there going to be special mobs for it? Don't worry, we're getting to mobs for soon. Uh, but I don't really know. Like... There, I feel like there could be much more to it. But let's go on to the next biome. Because there are three. And then we'll do the mobs. So yeah, next biome. So this is called the Nether Wart Forest. So it's a really cool biome with its own uh, ground block. So it's not going to be netherrack. Because it didn't look like netherrack. So yeah, and... It is going to have these log looking things and it trees. Now it's kind of hard to tell in here, but this is kind of what it's going to look like. So it is hard to tell, but these are sort of trees. Where, where am I? Can I see the top of the nether? Yeah, there, there's stuff. But anyway, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so these are sort of trees. Um, now, since it's like a forest, yeah, you can kind of see how it's like a, a tree here. But since the forest, it's easy to get lost. So. 
there's gonna be tons of stuff and there will actually be new mushrooms i didn't actually put those in here so i just am using the normal mushrooms but you will there will be no more mushrooms but they don't really say anything about that so yeah this biome looks really cool because it's so uh cool when i'll get another zack that in one second but it's so cool it's like very tight um and hard to navigate through and i'm sure some of the mobs will be uh spawning in here and um now to get on to this now, they didn't actually talk about this at all, but it is a new light source, I, I believe. I mean, it looked all yellow, and so I think it's a light source. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool how it's, it, I mean, it, it emits light, but it, it, it it's not, like, it doesn't look exactly like glowstone. It's, it's a very unique block, and I do think it is very cool. It could be used in builds to light them up, but in a cool way. I don't know. Now, there is another version of the biome. So, this is the normal nether warp forest. However, there is a blue version as well. Now, this one is really cool because when you see the nether, you think red and, well, not blue, basically. Uh, so, it's really cool to see some new colors added. This is so cool, seeing new colors in the um nether and it's like the opposite of red well i don't sorry yeah it's basically the opposite of red so it is an opposite but it it kind of adds like it's it's not an oasis but it is kind of nice to look at it's better than just seeing all the red all the time there so this is going to be cool like if you see it in the distance it'll definitely stick out to you'll it'll definitely like stick out you'll see it way better than any other biome because it's so blue and it's like opposite of the red so it you'll definitely see it it's not hiding anywhere because it is so different which is why i like it i almost might like the blue version better than the red because of how it's just so unique and not it's like it's like almost a whole new biome but it, i mean it is. I meant a whole new dimension, but it's still in the same biome. Ugh, same dimension. It's still in the nether, but it feels like it's a whole new world, basically. Uh, so, yeah, I really do think this one is quite cool. Like, really cool. But, um, yes. But now that is it. That was the three biomes. We got the nether... Wait. The soul sand valley the nether warp full areas nether warp forest and the blue nether warp forest nether warp. it's hard to say that but um i don't actually know the names there's like a nether warp forest but i don't know what do you call the blue one is it just the blue or the icy one i don't really know i mean they never showed ice in it but yeah and and just in case you're wondering yes the if i can find any those glowing blocks uh do still appear in the blue one I'm, I, but i can't find one for some reason oh there's one i see one uh so yeah and um i don't think the glowing blocks are actually too common so well like they're not in every tree they're not rare but like they're not in every single tree you find so they're they're, they're kind of they're not just overloading the biome so they're just like it's not rare, like, it's hard to find and super precious, like diamonds and emeralds and something, but it's not like you find them in every tree, so it's, it's just kind of like, sometimes you'll see it in some of the trees. But anyway, now it's time to get on to the mobs. So the first mob we're going to be looking at is the Piglin Beast. Well, that's its current name, um, but... So for now, that's what we're calling it. So it's like that. It's not. That's not its permanent name. It's gonna change, but for now, that's its name. So yeah, it looks like this. It's actually kind of interesting. Now I this because I how I made it just kind of slides, but yeah. So it is a pigment beast. So this is cool now because it has like you see it has where'd it go? Oh yeah. So it's got the four legs, but then its body is kind of tilted, and then has the head is also tilted. And it's got white eyes, and horns that are like on the, or, yeah, something like that. They're like on the 
like on the down on its face sort of and then it has this um i, I don't i think they're like spikes or something but uh yeah there's these i guess there's maybe spikes or something on its uh, back so yeah now this is going to be the food source in the nether, nether so you can live here but it's not like easy or anything um so yeah now we don't really know too much about it like we don't know its health or the other command blocks here but whatever <laughs> uh there we don't know its health or its um attacks really like we kind of see it attacking you or something and it will actually attack me so if i go to survival let's actually move away from these command blocks so that i don't know this is weird oops well that helps I kind of got my stuff back here. That took a bit, but, um, because I kind of got lost because I was somewhere random in the nether. But anyway, let's go back up, see if we can find that guy again. Um. And where is he? Okay, I'll just get all the way. Oh, okay, here he is. Hello? Huh? Oh, great. I mean, um, okay, that was a bit weird, but now he's moving. Okay, and I put resistance on so I don't actually die, but you can see that he... Tries to attack me. He has a long reach. Um, I'm getting pushed into lava. But I can't die! Ha ha ha. Because <laughs> I got resistance. But he'll keep trying to attack me. And kill me. So, I don't. we don't really know much about the mods. So, I just kind of... They just kind of attack you. And then that's it. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. So, this guy... Not really doing much. I don't even know, like, we don't know much about the mob, so I don't even know what he s does, or, like, he's the food source, but that's kind of it, so, anyway, let's get on to the next mob. So the last mob is the piglin, I guess it's just the piglin, so, this time it's not the piglin beast, it's just the piglin. So, these are mobs that, um, I guess like gold, kind of like zombie pigmen, so... If you're wearing gold armor, they won't attack you, but also is their chest. So if they can see you, as you see this guy's here, he's not attacking me. As soon as I try looking at his stuff, he, he starts getting angry and is like, no. So I'm going to go in creative mode to uh, stop that. Um, i get a sword, get rid of him. But only if they see you, so like, if, um... And from here, you can see, like, he didn't see that because he's too far away. But if he were to be closer, then he would. So, um, yeah, so they're kind of like, and also wearing gold armor stops them. I think if you don't wear gold armor, no matter what, they'll always actually attack you. I didn't actually do that, but, um, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's, did I see something walk? Eh, maybe it was lava. But anyway, um, the other thing is trading. Now, this isn't exactly like villager trading, so you can't, like, right-click them to trade or anything. That doesn't work. Um, let me turn it down. Nice sounds. But you can't right-click to trade them or anything. That's not how it works. You have to, like, maybe throw an item at them, and then they give you one. So, let's see. They drop my gold. Take my gold. Ooh, we got some golden boots. Thank you. And then can take those. Mm, let's try again, shall we? See if he'll give me some else. So let's throw more gold. Ooh, a golden chest plate. That's nice. Hmm. Let's try one more time to see if he'll give me anything else. Ooh, a golden sword. That's nice. So basically, you can make trades with them. You throw gold and then. Or something. I think it's gold. And then they give you um, a weapon. I'm assuming it'd probably be gold as well. Because they like the gold. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Now, that is actually it. They didn't uh, announce any other things. So, if you... And I got my gold armor on. But, anyway. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe for our videos. And let me know what you think of this update in the comments. And, uh, yeah. So, don't to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any other videos or nether update videos. Maybe they'll be announced more and then I'll make another video and you definitely don't want to miss that if you want to make sure you know the update. So, 
yeah, if you enjoy like Nitro, like twice bands and whatever, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, I'm starting it. Okay, anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoy.